everybody to Pedals and Tea episode 4. Today no tea but cup noodles because I went on a run earlier this morning and forgot to eat before filming the episode. So, bad planning on my part. Today we're talking about something that is very dear to my heart and that is getting your tones as massive as possible um, without sacrificing um, transparency or having too big of a noise floor or drowning stuff in reverb in order to get it larger. Uh, we've all been there. So um, we have a lot of guests today and we have three guests from Holy Island Audio who has um, easily become my favorite pedal builder of late. So um, we've got the Angel Teeth, again, classic. I don't think it's ever going to leave my board. We have the Abra, have the Abra Cadaver for some mayhem. And we also have the Glass Palace, which just arrived yesterday. Arrived just yesterday. I'm sorry, my grammar. English is my third language. Uh, my apologies. We have the Screen Violence by um, Oblot Noise Endeavors and um, a returning friend, uh, the Small Fracture by Blue Colander. And a bunch more. So um, I hope you enjoy this episode. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more to explain uh, how everything works, but that's what we're here for. So grab yourselves a cup of noodles and um, let's go. So, hey, in case the camera perspective changes a little bit, I tried a different gimbal. I don't know if it's stable, but it doesn't get in the way of uh, me fiddling with the pedals as much. So uh, in case anything changes, I'll try to it back. Today we're checking out a way of uh, stacking pedals so that you get a lot of dynamic range, relatively no low noise and a whole bunch of crunch. So um, we're running through a 100 watt high watt 1974 um, through the normal input. Um, EQ is relatively normal, got a little bit of mid dialed in. And uh, this is the clean sound on the baritone jazz master in uh, B standard uh, neck pickup. And a little bit of ambience from Ghost Echo, as usual. So the first pedal I look for when trying this kind of stuff is a, um, like the, the last pedal in the chain that gives the most color which in this case is the small fracture. I'm looking for something that has a lot of dynamic range, but a nice compression, certain grit, certain crunch, um, and that stacks really well, or takes pedals in front of it really well. So here's our clean sound again. And here's small fracture to it. It compresses. It stays very transparent and has a nice grit to it. You can try other pedals that have similar characteristics. This is the one that works the best for me. Um, Next thing I do is um, get another pedal that is very transparent, compresses in a different way um, and got more of a lower mid punch, uh, which in this case would be the angel teeth, um, clipping diodes disengaged, um, just boosts a little bit. Uh, here is the clean sound and then the angel teeth uh, to see how I set it up. <laughs> See how it sounds by itself and with. Adds a lot of warmth together with small fracture.
that's already pretty nice. Um, you can fiddle a little bit with different compression options, but I think this is really cool also. Um, small fracture just kind of uh, tames the low end a little bit because um, it can, can get quite boomy uh, depending on what the uh, angel teeth is going into. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, really nicely to picking dynamics. Um, the cool thing about this is that you can roll down your um, guitar volume. I set up the uh, boss volume pedal in a way that it cuts, um, doesn't cut all the way, so there's still going to be some signal left. <laughs> a lot of dynamics with that one too and um, what I then do to get some more presence some more transients some more clang you might say um, I like to boost it with a uh, gritty boost um, which adds some treble maybe cut some bass like the uh, bifoot boost for 10 for example boosting slightly adding a lot of a lot of attack a ton of gain um, there's a lot of crunch there's a lot of texture but it's not super gainy also not the the compression isn't that strong like um, I'm just gonna ring a chord and a strum a chord and let it ring out you will see that it just it, it doesn't sustain for very long <laughs> I mean, this guitar has has uh, some good sustain, but you know what I mean. It's not like when you uh, kick on a big muff and it just sustains forever, basically. And um, yeah, what the Bifid Boost also adds to the clean sound is... some lice lice I don't know how to call it it's, it just feels lonely <laughs> I don't know disengage it just sounds so sad I don't know what it is there's just a certain spike in there So yeah, these are the main ingredients. What you can then do, what I really like to do in order to just make it a little bit wider, broader, is add some light chorus uh, in front. I'll do it with a low gain. It may sound quite obvious right now, but it doesn't really you don't really notice this anymore after like 20 seconds or something
that's basically an always on for me, uh, especially with baritone tunings. And this is where the fun begins, um, because this is where you can just add dirt behind or in front of your chain. Um, as long as small fracture or your end of chain pedal stays your end of chain pedals, because otherwise it's just going <laughs> to rip your EQ in half. So um, let's go for the more transparent option first, which would be the Glass Palace by Holy Island Audio. I've got it set to a mild boost um, with the voicing switch or clipping switch, I don't know what it does, um, down. It gets a lot grittier and it just adds more compression. I'll uh, play one chord, let it ring out, and then add the glass pellets and do the same thing. <laughs> get a lot more growl. Still relatively no, low noise floor compared to the output volume of your amp. Another option would be to get a clean boost, which is the other side of Glass Palace, for example. Um, it will react differently. I'll switch between them. go for the screen violence. Um, <laughs> I just like tapping on something that says violence and what you hear is violence. So. transparent when you gain uh, roll the, the volume down. Um, let's try that with the glass palace. Not so much in this setting. I'll change the clipping switch to the up position. Yeah. And then, of course, what you can do, I'll switch the, uh, take the switch back down. Come on, you. Okay, there we go. Um, you can take the abracadaver or any kind of like weird octafuzz or anything um, that you can put in front. And it's just gonna, 
be nasty. Let's 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 have fun, some fun. <laughs> Yeah, you can go from from mean to clean. <laughs> I'm actually kind of proud of that pun. Um, you can go from mean to clean pretty fast. Um, you only need a volume pedal uh, that has the option of still blending in some of the clean signal um, or some of some of your signal in the heel position. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically um, how I go about creating dynamic stuff that uh, like this this typical doom crunch without sacrificing um, too much dynamic range or uh, needing a, um, a noise gate. Um, some of the noise that you're hearing right now is uh, due to the lamps uh, in my studio and these pickups being single coils, but it's totally fine. It's totally tolerable. Um, I'm just going to fiddle around a little bit, change between pickup positions, and um, yeah.
yeah i think that is it for today um thank you so much for watching thanks for the messages on instagram as well for the great feedback um as always support small builders uh, it's just crazy um that these pedals aren't on everybody's board um go get one do pre-orders when they put some up um great people great products products always sound so so official i don't like that but you know amazing amazing gear and great people as always um thanks so much for um sticking around thanks to uh, a holy island audience uh, blue colander for uh, tolerating my constant messages and questions i'm over focusing on this stuff and everything that's going along with it um yeah that's it if you want subscribe text me whatever and uh, see you next time bye bye <laughs>